to the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the one who is, who was, and who is to come. I want to bless God for your life, and I want to thank God for your faithfulness, where they keep me and you two alive day by day. I want to welcome you to a program, Pathway to Leadership Development. I believe by God's special grace, God only used this program for enlightening we about leadership. The purpose of leadership, waiting and waiting and waiting leader for do. God, by his grace, he don't call me and you two into leadership. He gets a purpose of doing that. And I'm a prayer that the purpose of which way God call we for be leaders of in people, me and you two will not go fail in the name of Jesus. The grace for we for be effective leaders, transformational leaders, servant leaders, God will surely grant you that grace in Jesus' name. I want for any side where you did, I want for let you now take your Bible, your pen, your daughter, your diary, your notebook. I want for let you bow your heads down for let we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we exalt you, Lord. We magnify your holy name. Thank you because of the victory of the cross and the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Thank you for the entrance of your word. Thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit. We na in, na we help her. Papa God, you na we abu. Papa, you will depend. Now you will trust. Now you will look up to. Lord, we just commit this time of the teaching of your word, Lord, into your hands. Holy Spirit, now you are the author of the Bible. Open the eyes of your understanding and give we revelation knowledge in your word. Lord, I give you all the glory, praise and honor. We love and appreciate you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Now, once more, welcome to the program Pathway to Leadership Development. Today, we will look at another topic with title The Prize of Leadership. Remember, we will be done leadership in the kingdom. But today, we will move to another topic with title the prize of leadership. And I want to let you take your Bible and open with me to Mark chapter 10, verses 35 to verse 45. Mark 10, from verses 35 to verse 45. I go read. And James and John, the sons of Zebedee, come unto him, saying, Master, come unto him, saying, Master, we would that thou shouldest do for us whatsoever we shall desire. And he said unto them, What will you that I should do for you? They said unto him, Grant unto us that we may sit, one on thy right hand, and the other on thy left hand in thy glory. But Jesus said unto them, Ye know not what ye ask. Can you drink of the cup that I drink of, and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? And he said unto him, We can. And Jesus said unto them, Ye shall indeed drink of the cup that I drink of. And with the baptism that I am baptized withal shall ye be baptized. But to sit on my right hand and on my left hand is not mine to give. But it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared. And when the ten heard it, they began to be much displeased with James and John. But Jesus called them to him and said unto them, Ye know that ye know that they which are accounted to rule over the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, 
and their great ones exercise authority upon them. But so shall it not be among you. But whosoever will be great among you shall be your minister or your servant. And whosoever of you will be the chiefest, right? The chiefest means the leader shall be servant of all, not a servant of some, right? Verse 45. For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. Praise the Lord. Now we don't see that as we don't see James and John, the sons of Zebedee, they being for come to Jesus, we Lord and we Master. Then come for can ask a favor for man. And then say, Lord, what will they ask you? We no one for let you deny we. Now Jesus Christ himself asked them, say, what you really una want me for do for una? Now they say, now they tell us, say, they say, sir, we want for let you make one per we sit on na the right hand, then the other one for sit on na the left hand, na you kingdom. But Jesus Christ will get for said to them, he said, Una know what una they ask. Una really know what una they ask so. He said, Una able for drink of the cup we I get for drink. And una ready for be baptized with the baptism we I get for be baptized with. Now, which kind of baptism he talk about? Not to water baptism. And they talk about the suffering we if we go through. So now they say, they say we are able. Now they tell us, say Lord, we able. One, we able for drink of that cup we they drink from, and also the baptism, the pain, the suffering we you get for go through. And say we able. So, but Jesus Christ say, okay, when I say when I able for go through the baptism, when I get for drink the cup where they drink from, he said, but for sit, for let on a sit on, let the one sit on on my right hand and on my left hand. That one day you not day in my power for give na. He say, but it is for those for whom it is prepared. Then a verse forty now. He say, but to sit on my right hand and on my left hand is not mine to give, but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared. Right? So, we don't see that leadership is not a very good and a noble responsibility for be desired. If you desire for become a leader, Right? Now, a very good and noble responsibility. You will don't desire that. Right? As much as you understand the purpose of God for leadership and also the sacrifices we involve. You know, many times people want to become leader, but they don't know waiting at the purpose of God for let them become a leader. And also, they're not considering and consider the pains and the sacrifices and the trials and the difficulties where it attach to leadership. Now that may way people they fed for become leader. <laughs> I can just laugh there no more. And that's also because Leadership, God gets a purpose for leadership. Now that may God not make all men for become leader. If God before they make, let everybody become leader. 
there would have now before become the subject. Right? The purpose of God before somebody become a leader. Two things you for understand. Number one, you for understand the purpose of God. And the book of Numbers chapter 27, it tell you about the purpose of God for leadership. Numbers chapter 27. You see? Verse 15 to 17. And Moses spake unto the Lord, saying, Let the people, let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, set a man over the congregation, which may go out before them, and which may go in before them, and which may lead them out, and which may bring them in, that the congregation of the Lord be not a sheep which have no shepherd. The purpose of God for leadership, number one, that we suppose to go out before the people. That is, the leader for lead. You for go before the people. The leader, in other words, you are like a shepherd where they lead the sheep. Verse 17, which may go out before them. We suppose to go out. And which may go in before them. Right? That they talk about the eternal affairs. You for mount up, right, even the internal affairs, and which may lead them out, and which may bring them in, that the congregation of the Lord be not as sheep which have no shepherd. Right? So in other words, the purpose of God for leadership, number one, now forgive the people them a sense of direction. So now that makes, if anybody, they will be confused in life. Not to the leader. The confusion of the leader and the confusion of the people. The confusion of the leader and the confusion of the church. The confusion of the leader and the confusion of the family. The confusion of the leader and the confusion of that institution. If anybody, they wait for be focused. Wait for no side if they go. Now the leader for no side if they go. Because who side if they go, now they it will lead the people there for go. But if the leader not know where it they go, then it not go lead the people there nowhere at all. That's now one. The purpose of God of leadership now for lead the people them right to a place. The purpose of him calling Moses, number one, if for take the Israelites out of Egypt. Then if I care, then go to the Kenya land, the promised land. So a leader forgets a vision. If on no side, it lead the people them in life. That's not one, the purpose. Then, so it means that if the leader in not know what he really God call and power, and not go lead them people then they any side in life. So then I now come for conclude that now leadership now in the give shape to the family. The success of the family depends on the success of the leader. The success of the church it depends on the success of the leadership of the church. The success of the government. The people then, now that country, it depends on the success of the president or the prime minister where they lead that nation. In failure, now the failure of the people. Now that make because God gets a purpose for leadership, we say the, the people then will get a responsibility for pray for them so that they will know exactly what then they do who side then they go, and therefore able for lead we, now the side who side, then they go in life. Right? That's now one area. Right? So, as I don't say, leadership is good and a noble. Now, a noble responsibility. You want for become a leader. Or you will go down call for become a leader. And you will want for aspire leadership. So, but if you for lead, and lead well, 
and become a successful and a great leader, number one, you need to understand the purpose of God for leadership. The purpose of God now for lead the people them out of suffering, out of bondage, out of slavery, out of poverty, out of sickness, out of joblessness, out of farming. The leader you day for go out and lead the people out, out of suffering, poverty, out of backwardness and failure and joblessness, out of premature death. So God in purpose of leadership now for lead one the people and also go before them and lead them out. Number two, another thing also is we for know that leadership is not cheap at all. Right? We for know say there are sacrifices where we for pay when you become a leader. Right? There are serious sacrifices. My question to you is plenty one for only enjoy the glamour, the clamour and the glamour and the carnal glory of leadership. But how many today ready for pay the price? How many ready for sacrifice, right, for become true leader? Now, for we as a church, now a very serious concern to us today, because many people, they go in for titles, they go in for kind of glory, personal enrichment, you know, they forget, say, every true leader, right, leadership, it involves sacrifices. Leadership involves suffering. Many today, they run into leadership because of misconception. Right? Many today, they don't spell leadership wrongly. And so, they not ever, never look at the real thing, right, about leadership. And now at the talk about so. For anybody we want for really become a successful leader, number one, you for no say there is a price tag attached to leadership. Noble Good and noble as leadership is. Number one, God gets a purpose for that leader. Now that makes at the end of a leadership, we get for give account unto God. The Bible says every man shall have to give account of himself. Then Romans chapter 14 verse 12. Every man, every one of us shall have to give account of himself. How you discharge your duty. Leadership is about stewardship. And if anybody they will for be faithful, right? We for be faithful, number one, to God we God we call we into leadership. Now that means not all man they go into leadership. First Corinthians chapter four, verse two. I go read. First Corinthians four. Verse 2. He say, Moreover, it is required in his steward that a man be found faithful. A leader is a steward, not a servant. You are not just a caretaker. But there is very serious misconception about leadership today. Now that makes all men, we don't see how they break away. They do so plenty today. That one there, he does have John 3.16. He 
They no longer they submit again inside to a leader. Hmm. Inside they go open in your church. Waiting a want so. A want tie to let them begin call an overseer. A want waiting personal enrichment. A want jeep. Right? A want the glamour. The kind of glory. A want the claymore. The glamour and the kind of glory. But a no no say there is a price we attach to leadership. So, because of the misconception, several aberrations and misconceptions about leadership, right? We characterize the church presently in which generation today, right? Now, it make everybody, they rush into it. So, man, please say, as the beginning column, bishop, apostle, right? If for straight away, get motoka. Right? So they're more concerned about the titles, personal enrichment, the regalia, the chain, the rings, than waiting at the price, the purpose, and the price where it entails. I pray that as me and you two, we they look at this very important topic, the price of leadership. You will look at your life in line with what the word of God say. So we see that God is interested in leadership because he, he got a purpose of calling us into leadership. One, the happiness of the community, it depends on the leadership. The misery of that community, it depends on the leadership. How I know? In Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. Proverbs 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people within the people rejoice. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear it rule, the people mourn. A Gentile ruler, where in your leadership, the purpose of a leadership, number one, we learned last, the last time in we last study say, then they put burdens on people. We then say not ready for take. Number two, they can talk something, but they're not the dwarf. Number three, then they then are benefactors. Whatever leadership position within they owe, now for their own personal benefits. Then number four, then they now for make money and for pervert judgment. Tell me in all the African leaders, whose leader will not get these four characteristics? In Africa, leadership, even inside the church today, right? It's all about self, self glory, self enrichment, right? At the expense of even the money, 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 the way that they collect from the people. So, when John and James, they now come to Jesus, they make this request, right? Jesus Christ. He look at the request where James and John they can make. They say, Lord, let me sit down. The one say, let sit down at the right hand side. The other one say, let me sit down at the left hand side. Now, I want to follow take them critically for look at how Jesus Christ will respond to this request where they ask for. They want to become leaders. Remember, say, this request where they come in, the other ten disciples, them, they are not been there. And they two no more, and they can't meet the master. Right? But now we look at the response of Jesus. Because in this response, now that the Lord Jesus can be revealed to me and you too, 
waiting look like a qualification a condition where everybody will desire right for become a leader they get for waiting they get for go through in order for be accepted for either a responsibility you know a, a, or a leadership position waiting will qualify you waiting have been they come with genuine request and jesus christ himself you know say the request where they come with that request they've been genuine and today it might be say you self self you want to become a leader which is very good and not bad at all for let you become a leader that is a very good and genuine uh, desire that way you get but as i don't say to you today two things you for consider number one you for know waiting at the purpose we make you want for become a leader waiting at god in purpose number two you for also consider the sacrifice and the suffering the price we attach to leadership these are things people never consider at all and that may way some market make much 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 more we take over leadership now because now the glamour no more right the car where they go get the house you know the the money the traveling the connections another look at the other side the purpose another look at the other side the sacrifices and the sufferings we attach to leadership so jesus christ now he tried for response to their two disciples they are so that now james and john by saying this to them in mark chapter 10 verse 38 to verse 39 please open your bible with me mark 10 verse 38 to 39 waiting to be jesus in response to them mark chapter 10 verse 38 to 39 but jesus said unto them jesus said to them you do not know what you ask are you able to drink the cup that i drink he said not able for drink of that cup we are the drink of and be baptized with the baptism that i am baptized with they said to him we are able so jesus said to them you will indeed drink the cup that i drink and the baptism i am baptized with right the baptism that i am baptized with all shall ye be within shall ye be baptized verse 40 right but to sit on my right hand and on my life left hand is not mine to give but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared now according to jesus when he talked to James and John, right, there is a cup. That cup they waited inside, not of him too. There is a cup where every leader gets for drink from. According to Jesus, there is a cup and a baptism that every aspiring servant of God must compulsorily drink and be baptized with before you now become a successful leader if I, if not in ministry before heaven god will include your name now the heavenly records you know many people may take over leadership in the world from the old testament coming down to the new testament but when you look at the heroes of faith in the book of Hebrews chapter 11, 
not to the all name God mentioned. Not to the all name God mentioned. You know why? Some are they into leadership and not know the purpose why it is in leadership. You did in leadership, you are a servant. You are there to serve the people. You are a servant, you are a caretaker. Even the church, we pastors, not to we get the church. Now Jesus Christ said, "Ain't go build in church, and that the gates of hell shall not prevail against it." We are there as stewards. We suppose for speak the mind of God to the people. So, according to Jesus. We Lord and we Savior. And I'll talk to James and John. Right? He said, there is a cup. And there is a baptism. That every aspiring servant of God, everyone where they aspire leadership, must compulsorily drink. Now, compulsory. Now, like we say, pa, pa. Compulsorily drink and be baptized with before heaven he approve of your leadership. And now, so there, no wonder, Jesus Christ said with him, many are called, but few are with him, choosing. I want to fully understand that. There is a difference between the call and the choosing ones. There are certain responsibilities God will never just give it to the call one. The call, when they say the call, now go go jama. But the one that we God they choose, now the one them, we don't drink from that cup. We don't ready for sacrifice. And we determine for pay the price. Now nobody not tell you say, leadership is cheap. Leadership is easy. There are pains we attach to it. There are disappointments attached to leadership. There are sleep, sleepless nights that are attached to leadership. There are sufferings that are attached to it. And how God is separate the call from the choosing. Now, how much the person determined for be baptized and for drink that from that cup where Christ drink from. Christ they go through it painfully, disgracefully. Even his own, it came to a time a young disciples they abandoned him. They turn them back away. In one green, a walk another lonely path. For me and you too with salvation. And no wonder, the Bible says, For God has highly exalted him and given him a name, which is above every other name, that at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Now, when you look at the catalog of the heroes of faith in Hebrews chapter 11, not to all my way become leader, God mentioned a name day. Many are called, but few are chosen. Few, and not say plenty. Many are called, and because of that call, then they look for it. Pass on again. Then they look for it. The glamour. Now many ready for go through. Many. Now few ready for drink of that cup. 
There is nothing as lonely as leadership. Now that made them but they as a gap, so you want for go begin me. Heaven, heaven get a record. Only those who have been choosing, now then God they enter their name into that heavenly record. And it they approve them. And such men, they are the carrier of God's presence wherever they go. Wherever they go, whenever they stand. Right? Somebody can be highly gifted, but he is not within choosing. He is only called. Somebody can see revelation. That make up for be, for let God choose and for they on that heavenly records or list. No. Many can preach well. But that makes it God go choose them. No. He said few are choosing. Many are called, but few are choosing. So Jesus. And I'll say, are you able to drink the cup that I drink and be baptized with the baptism that I'm baptized with? He asked them that question. Then at John, James and John. Now they say, we are able. So Jesus began to say to them, right? You go indeed drink the cup where I drink and the baptism where I don't be baptized with. But for sit on my right hand, there on my left hand, and not there in my own power, forgive now. Right? So, if you drink of that cup, and you go through the baptism, as John and James, they, be, they swear say, they will drink. That still not even guarantee automatic appointment, your appointment to a leadership position. Mm-mm. That's not guarantee at all. So, without proper understanding, this basic qualification, we have for drink from that cup and for be baptized with that baptism. We are not to water baptism, na baptism into suffering. Leadership is very lonely. Sometimes you feel being left alone for taking some crucial decisions. And that's why the most successful leaders in the Bible, they spend quality time with God. They're alone with God. They've been getting the ability for hear from God. I pray today as a church leader, God will grant we the grace for always learn, for we draw from the Bobo Jama, from the crowd, so that we can hear from them and know the full purpose of calling us into leadership and we will with the lead the people them for go in Jesus' name. Now, let me go back to Mark chapter 10, verse 38 to verse 39. We now want to undertake the study, waiting at this baptism, where Jesus Christ talked about, and the cup, where Jesus Christ he offered to his disciples as a compulsory condition for meat, in order to be part of God's ministry team where their name will enter into the heavenly records. There are people who are in ministry, they are leaders, but their names are not in the book of heavenly records. That they perform signs and wonders, of course, yes. Are their names there? Some? No. Because plenty already for go through, for drink of that cup, and for be baptized with that baptism. In Mark chapter 10, verses 38 to verse 39. I will read. 
et c'est But Jesus said unto them, Ye know not what ye ask. He tell them, say, una not una de ask all. Can you drink of the cup that I drink of? Una ready for lad. Una ready for drink from the cup where I get for drink? Hey. And be baptized with the baptism that I'm baptized with? Now a question I begin to ask them. Una don't come, James and John. Una ready, right? For drink of that cup. Whose kind of cup? Now a cup of suffering. You remember where they arrest Jesus? How they beat her? How they strip her naked? How they humiliate her? How they mock her? How they pull in robe? How they wear the crown of tongues and eat? How many leaders are ready for go through pain today? Mockery, persecution, even when you know, say, this is what God wants, but everybody is against it. How many leaders ready for lay a neck? Say, as now God, now this it will cost me God a will. You able for stand. Right? So, and they said unto him, we can. And Jesus said unto them, You shall indeed drink of the cup that I drink of. Is it not true? Una indeed, una get for go through, una you. With the baptism that I'm baptized with us, shall ye be baptized. Verse 40. But to sit on my right hand and on my left hand is not mine to give, but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared. So as we explore this cup, right? This cup which Jesus Christ talked about, right? We want for no waiting at this cup, right? The cup where James and John they say they say we want for drink from, right? This cup not they talk about appointment. This cup not they talk about placement in ministry. This cup not they even they talk about preaching to thousands or preach to two. Right? Not to in now the cup which Jesus Christ they talk about. This cup which Jesus Christ they talk about a different. Not to even for let them even call you man of God. Right? Not to him. Not to for let them call you apostle self. Or bishop. Or prophet or prophetess. Not to him at the cup. It's not about the title. It's not about the name. It's not about preaching to thousands of people. It's not about the vision. Right? The message we they give to the people. Right? That cup is not about you being called the general overseer or the founder. Not to the cup they talk about. So, within that cup they talk about, the cup about what Jesus Christ talked about, and they talk about suffering to the point of the self life. Right? Being crucified or being dead. So, if you, we say you can't enter into ministry or you're in ministry, right? You desire is how you for be known all over. Popularity, you know, say now it's so easy. Now the social media, everybody they go project itself. You need for ask God for deliver you from that first, because you know you not get ministry itself. Hence the whole thing is about self projection, right? That whole thing is about self projection. 
you first of all need for go first for go seek God. Right? Because that attitude it will scare God in grace away from you from being a leader. Paul says something in Galatians chapter 2. In Galatians chapter 2. God not they ever use any instrumental in order to test and prove. Galatians 2. I go read. Verse 20 to 21. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I. But Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, and not live again for self-glorification, no? Who loved me and gave himself for me. Right? I do not frustrate the grace of God. For if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I again, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God. So there we see here that the word I, my, me, the reason why God they allow the cup of suffering now for kill the self-life because a leader is a servant. A leader, you are a steward. A leader, you are there for God's purpose. So if you don't go join ministry so that you go in at the internet. So that everybody go know you. Cheap popularity. You don't miss her already. You really don't miss her. You will get nowhere. Trust me. According to the scriptures. You need for us God. Now Paul they say. You know what if I Paul say in the book of Philippians. Philippians chapter 3. Where can I read? Philippians chapter 3, verse 7. But what things we are gained to me, those I counted loss for Christ. The things that we are gained to Him. Worldly things, material things. The things that we are. But what things we are gained to me? Right? Those. I counted with him. Loss. Loss. Verse 8. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but with him, but loss. For the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the, so the loss of all things. And do count them but dog, that I may win Christ. You ready? For let everything go, including your pride, your self-life. For let God in glory be revealed. Here is Paul, the great apostle. He they give in testimony the things that were profitable to him. If, for instance, today, as a bishop, if they pull all the glamour and the glory, the kind of glory, they pull up from bishop business, you ready for go the way? Usai motoka no de? Usai you no get motoka? Now today they hear it. foolish, 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 foolish youth preachers them. Then they say, if you see you no get, uh, na error, if you say you na man of God, then you no get jeep. Foolishness. Jesus will get any private jeep, jet? No. Paul said, the things that were gained to me, those that I counted with him, 
loss. Those I counted loss for Christ. So then, when we talk about Jesus Christ, where he may talk to James and John, we now know, see, for me, the real carrier of God's presence is not get nothing for do with preaching, big preaching. Mm-mm. It get for do with God walking through you. And God don't promise you revival in Sierra Leone. When that revival did come, men are forgotten. Then Jesus will increase. When that revival did go come, men go go. Then God go take charge. When genuine revival comes, people where they brag go be silent and then go labor earnestly. As we look at the life of John in St. John chapter 3, verses 29 to verse 31. What did he say? John was more the Baptist. Uh, John, the beloved, was more concerned about the glory of God than the glory for a young person. I would say, verse 30, 29. What did he say? He that had the bride is the bridegroom. But the friend of the bridegroom, which standeth and heareth him, rejoiced greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. This my joy, therefore, is fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. Verse 31. He that cometh from above is above all. He that is of the earth is earthly, and speaketh of the earth. He that cometh from heaven is above all. Now, as we don't read this, John was more concerned about God's glory than about self-glory. As we don't read the Bible, as great as the revival in the New Testament, right, in the book of Acts, it's amazing that we don't see that emphasis was laid on any human being, neither on the result, right, of any special name. After any man. When you study the book of Acts, nobody particularly possessed the ministry. We've been therefore born out of that great revival in the book of Acts. We not ever read about serious clashes of personalities. Rather, we only see that these men they were what? They were servants. They were there to serve. A great leader in life, now somebody where he see himself as a servant. A great leader. A great leader for be a servant. And at that today, na in missing. Servant leadership. Na in missing today. Because we culture and we tradition. In order to uphold 
servant leadership. Now, this Gentile leadership, we men, they don't practice right from the fall of man in the Garden of Eden. And so Jesus, in response and instruction to the disciples then, and to everyone today, where they seek a place of service in the kingdom, it still remains loud, clear, and unambiguous, right? As a not left no alternative, that a man will for be a leader, and for be a servant. He give no allowance for import any strange leadership other than within the servant leadership. Now the only leadership that we heaven a approve of. Now the only pattern of leadership that we heaven approve of. And are the only leadership that where Christ in self self he lead for, he practice, and now in a show as a pattern for me and you to for follow. So the greatest leader we ever don't live now this world now that now Jesus. A leader will go bring change and transformation. Na in community, na the church, na a servant leader, not to a gentile leader. So when then disciples and so James and John, they now come, then they ask for the position. Would I for Sidon, na the right hand? Would I for Sidon, na the left hand? Jesus Christ now. He try for tell they say leadership he get a prize where he attach to it. You know, a gentile leadership not get any prize at all. You want for become a gentile leader, just be wicked. Lying on me anything to them. To the point that when I not even see way, then they take Bible, they take oath of office. They open evil account for them, they're picking them. <laughs> I know some politicians they're picking them, they say we Chris, then they say us in this country. They Chris. Because the oath of office, where then they take, you know what it is. They're not they go by it. Now different thing than they do. So Jesus Christ now try for tell them, say. This Gentile leadership now a terrible leadership because of four things. Number one, then they put heavy burdens on people in Matthew chapter 23. I will read from verse 1. Number one, why Jesus Christ did he resist this Gentile leadership? Number one, now because then they put burdens on people where they say not ready for carry. Chapter 23 of Matthew from verses 1. I go begin read. Then spake Jesus to the multitude and to, the, to his disciples saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. Then are the religious leaders and now Right? The scribes and the Pharisees. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do. The Bible says, for be subject to higher powers, but do not ye after their works. He said, what did they tell you now for do? Una obey. But una not follow the kind leadership life within they live, for they will say and do not. So number one, yes, uh, uh, verse four. For they buy heavy burdens and grievous to be born. Then they put load for people them and lay them on men's shoulders. But they themselves 
will not move them with one of their fingers. Then they leave heavy burden. For instance, they can tell we for pay taxes, not to so. Yes. But they will tell we for pay custom duties. But if they order for anything, we it come. That one in a no go area. They know they pay. Then the taxes they also now where we they pay. The poor people them. Now that same tax day, now then they take for enjoy, for go, for travel, go tap na the expensive hotel. Right? But when I don't see how the leadership issue now in Africa, don't they have, uh, West Africa, don't they have, not so, in Africa. Now people, they are they open. People are now looking for servant leaders. Leaders who are servant. Leaders who go hear the cry of the people. Leaders will go say, when the people they cry, we go say, I am here for you people. So Jesus will be hate this Gentile leadership because then they put burdens on people with they of themselves not ready for carry. They can flout the law. For break law no mean nothing to them. They can break the law that they can't they lie back for una. But God they watch. God they see you. Number two, they say and do not. Then they make big big promises. Verse three, Matthew twenty-three. All oh, therefore whatsoever they bid you observe. That observe and do, but do not see after their works. For they within, they will say and do not. Then go promise building, market, school, water well, hospital, for be bridge, for provide job, food for the people. Then go do all that, but they not go do what they promise. The Gentile leader, now a liar, professional liars. Now may Jesus Christ say, Una no for tanso. Now Jesus Christ begin pronounce curse on the Pharisees there and the scribes there say, Una don't poor me church because this kind of leadership now now for bring her inside her. He resists them. Number three. The Bible still we say Gentile leadership. Then are benefactors. When they take up leadership, now for their person again. Not for make life better for the people. Right? Now for their own person again. In Luke chapter 22, verse 24, the Bible calls them benefactors. They call them benefactors. Luke 22, verse 24. I will begin read. And there was also a strife among them, which of them should be accounted the greatest. And he said unto them, The, the kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and they that exercise authority upon them are called what? Benefactors. You know what in that mean? Then take up leadership for the person again at the expense of the people. Which is the people then they, the people therefore enjoy. Then they grab grab all they creep creep all they eat all. Not for the interest of the people, not for their own person again. Right? Then we talk about education. But when you go now this the public schools there. Eh, the non picking the not did they. The all the picking the dinner private schools. All the picking them. They are picking them. Then they are the most expensive, you know, private schools. Eh? They are not in the public schools where they talk about. Mm -mm. 
because now for their own personal gain at the expense of the people they are professional liars gentile leaders are professional not tell me say gentile leader go talk to mm -mm. as long as the person not get the grace of god in his heart he will never say the truth if he promise 100 things right now only certain two he go do the eight the 80 he not go touch him now lie and even the 20 or the two way you go do, the ten now for itself. Now that we could find out say most of the communities that they're underdeveloped. Especially like we own case in Sierra Leone, with the kind minerals there, the funding where international organizations and they give a FIBA say all they go inside like a drum will not get waste. Then just a poor, just just a poor, then just a poor. When they come on television, they lie, 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 lie. And to one better thing, no. But I want to talk to we leaders. That position they, where you occupy, you not get for last day forever. And what do you do? Till you left that office, it will left a very big memory in the minds of the people. So, having said that, Jesus Christ, he talked about this Gentile leadership. Way number four, then they, now for make money for themselves. Then, then also the pervert judgment in 4 Samuel chapter 1, chapter 8, verse 2. 4 Samuel. Verse 2. Now the name of his firstborn was Joel, and the name of his second, Abia. They were judges in Beersheba. They were judges. Dana who? Samuel, who was a servant leader. Verse 3. And his sons walked not in his ways. In Piki, they are not grieve for work. They are not grieve for let them become servant leaders. They say they are Gentile leaders. So what did they do now? They turn aside after Luca. You know what in a Luca? Money. But turn aside after Luca and took bribes and perverted with it judgment. Let read now from the good news. When Samuel grew old, the good news now, 1 Samuel 8, verse 1. When Samuel grew old, he made his sons judges in Israel. The elder son was named Joel, and the younger one, Abijah. They were judges in Beersheba. Now, like what you say, they were ministers, cabinet ministers in Beersheba. But they did not follow their father's example. Their papa na be servant leader. But rather, they were interested only in making money. When I don't see today, we country down 60 years of independence. What do you go boast about as a country? Out of the 54 world different minerals within the world, we get 34. But what you go boast about as a nation? Why? They, we are interested only in making money. So they accepted bribes and did not decide cases honestly. So now that may Jesus Christ be opposed this kind of leadership, let it not even enter the church. But it's rather unfortunate today that this such leadership it don't enter into the church to the point that some man, if you tell about church business, it is cost, it is vex. In fact, it's, it's so common overseas that when you call church name near some man, it they make you plabber. 
Why? Because the Gentile leadership now he don't enter and now he don't take over the church today. So all about church today now we think regalia. Ring. All about we think titles. Jesus in Matthew 24, 23, verse 5, what did he say? But all their works they do for to be seen of men. Right? They make broad their sacrilegious trees and enlarge the borders of their garments. Now they get special clothes that within the soul for apostles and witnesses. Now all man one now then they go for go, all man they run for go all day. But let them show special coat, special bag, special this. Yes, the next verse. And love the utmost rooms at feasts. And the chief seats in the synagogues. And greetings in the market place. To be called of men within. Rabbi. Chief apostle. Great apostle. Middle one. Minor prophet. Major prophet. All kind of thing. Now I don't box up the church so today. May God make today less soberness enter into the church. The revival where God don't promise we. The transformation where God don't promise we. Now the church and the nation, it depends on the leadership. My question to you is today, are you a Gentile leader? Or a servant leader. A Gentile leader not will ever bring the desired transformation or change. It's not possible because everything is about impersonal gain. A Gentile leader not will bring the needed change. Mm -mm. A Gentile leader not will bring transformation. Not at all. A Gentile leader not will fulfill the purpose of God for leadership. Now only a servant leader. Now he will able to fulfill the purpose of God. So now that makes Jesus Christ now in for me with pattern in leadership. Remember how it starts with 12 men. But today, billions all over the world, then they follow, right, Jesus. Because in pattern of leadership, is very unique. He gave himself up. Right? Jesus Christ, as a servant leader, he came to serve. As we learned last week. Right? He came to serve. The Bible tell we say, He lay aside, Jesus Christ lay aside in garment, in garment of glory, and Jesus Christ put on apron, the, 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 the towel for service, and He washed the disciples their foot. He washed their foot. Right? This is so clear. He said, Income for can serve. In service to humanity. In St. John chapter 13, I will read from verses 12 to verse. 17. St. John 13 from verses 12 to verse 17. So after he had washed their feet and had taken his garments 
I was set down again. He said unto them, Know ye what I have done to you? When Jesus pulled in clothes, in gown, he lay aside, he wear apron. Then he began to wash the disciples their food. They asked them, Una know what I do to you so? He called me Master and Lord. And you say, Well, for so I am. It's only they call me Una Master and Una Lord. And a true saying, I mean I'm a master, and I mean I'm a lord. Verse 14. If I then, your lord, and your master have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you should do as I have done to you. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord, neither he that is sent greater than he that sent him. If you know these things, happy are ye if you do them. So we see here that Jesus, in the talk about leadership, Servant leadership. It talks about service. Service to them one them. We're not able to provide for themselves. Service to all. The Gentile leadership today, they don't become a cabal leadership. Where you support me, where I come, now you are the first job for. All the one that will not support me. Even if you get any, you did any position, I go to you, you come out today. I don't care if you are your family will not go and die before and swear me. That is Gentile leadership. A true leader for be good, not to few, not for be partial in leadership. A servant leader is good to all. A not only good to few, but a good to all. So this is not a challenge today to the church and to the leadership. Jesus Christ said with it, I am among you as one who serves. He declared that in Luke 22 verse 27. He said, I am among you as one who serves. So the whole thing about leadership, not to the title, not to the glamour, not to the, the regalia, not to the chain, not to the bangles, not to the witty self, the necklace, not to, in, not to the ring, not to the title. It's about service. Luke 22, 27. For whether is greater, he that seated at meat, or he that serveth. It's not he that seated at the meat, but I am among you as he that within serveth. I am among you. Jesus, they are among we. Just like I be there among the disciples, eh? like somebody where they serve. Right? Jesus Christ come for can serve we. And he declare, number one, himself as we savior. Right? Jesus Christ declare himself as his savior. He declare himself as the savior of the disciples in their own days. Number two, Jesus may heal their sicknesses because they are not able to heal themselves. If they heal the people then. So when we become a leader, the purpose is that what the people they are not able to do for themselves, you the leader for able to do and for them. We are not able to save ourselves from we sin. We put up a drunk and occultic life. And we, the woman business, the wrong party there. We are not able to save ourselves at all. But the Bible says, Jesus Christ come for save we. 
they also come for can heal we. How many sicknesses in Jesus they heal every day? They come for heal we. Jesus Christ may even pay tax for Peter. Where Peter be supposed to pay tax, he not get money. He said, nah, take, you, take the fish a hook. Go on the water side. The first fish, where you go catch, go pay him out. Money they did. Let go pay you tax. When there be the inside that boat, where the tinada breeze begin for blow, he still the storm for them. When they go out on a retreat, there was no food at all. I just a catalog to you. The servant leadership of Christ, the kind of pattern of leadership, where he said, he provides bread and fish, he multiplies them, they eat it, 12 baskets left. Some of them come so defeated and wear a worn out. But Jesus Christ, he waited. He even changed their names. He changed their names. Jesus, he changed the names of their disciples. Then. He changed their names. So he now declared himself as one with the stars. Now in last did they eat. Right? This is how transformational leader is for day. You are there to serve the people. So my question then to you is today, whose kind of leader you be? We only get two kinds of leaders today. Politically, religious, institutional, community. Now two kinds of leaders we get. Number one, we get the Gentile leaders. Then number two, we get transformational or servant leaders. Whose kind of leader will you be? What you make with the suffering plenty so in the midst of the abundance we God give we? Now because we don't really get transformational leaders. But I want to encourage one of the younger ones that will come up. You know, the Bible says, you know they put old wine inside with him, new bottle, it go broke. With a prayer, let God raise up a new breed. Servant leaders. The Bible says, when somebody old, then it becomes foolish. It says, a heart for change them. That's what the book of Proverbs say. A heart for change such people. A good now, maybe as the year, read me so. Then I begin for think. What can we do for change things? Nobody else now go come and make the country for be better for we. Mm -mm. You don't see where trouble came for them. How the foreigners that they run for go? Now that means everybody they fed now for do our citizenship, so that where it's not comfortable now, it can go over yonder. Right? So Jesus against this background he tried to talk about the nature of a true transform, transformational leader. He actually talked about a leader being the servant. The one who serves Others, as a bishop of that church, you are there as a servant. So the greatest of leaders in God's kingdom, they are not known or distinguished by their within, by their titles, by their clothing, position, or other carnal arrangement there, but by their service. Luke 22:26. He 
may say, but ye shall not miss so. But he that is greatest among you, let him be as the younger. And he that is chief, as he that thou serve. So, when we talk about the price of leadership, two things we for always can you mind is number one, the purpose of God calling you into leadership is to provide for the people, to direct the people, to make them live a better life. Then number two, they talk about the sacrifices, the sufferings and the pains we attach to it, the labors and the sacrifices we go make right we go keep them in that leadership sometimes a true leader where you come around past the tell say nine this sometimes it can even appear like house boy rather than commander now, in are the least dignified person because of the labor. Right? It's very simple. Even in appearance, it's simple. But today, right? With the CC, the whole thing is about regalia, it's about title. It's about clothing. It's about chain. It's about jewelry. Many no one for suffer. Many not ready for pay the price. Many no one for sacrifice. Many no one for drink from that cup which Jesus Christ he talk about. Many no one for go through that baptism which Christ talk about. Right? We find out say if we can remember Jesus with all his anointing and his fame, right? When even in enemies they become for can arrest them, they will find it difficult for differentiate them between him and the disciples because they all wear the same thing, no, be, no difference, no be there at all, right? They are not able to distinguish them from the common people where it be they lead, right? Then therefore go pay Judas an expensive fee so that. Judas go able for point Jesus to them. So we see, see, we see, say, this na be dramatic thing that even the enemies they not be able for identify with Lord and with Savior because he was a servant leader. So leadership in the kingdom, right? Not only a call to take your place of humility, for take your place of suffering, for take your place of labor among men, for take the place of the lowest position, right? For take the place of the least honored. For take the place of the least favored. For take the place of giving. Now forgive rather. A servant leader, he rather prefer forgive than to take. Forgive your substance, your time, your rights, your privileges. And when, even when it's not convenient. And it's not comfortable. If you give all that, it not still do. It can end up forgive in life. And at that exactly, Jesus Christ come for can do for me and you too. In Matthew 20, verse 28. Matthew 20, verse 28. I'll go read. Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister, and to give his life 
a ransom for many. Jesus Christ come, a giving in glory, everything in honor, and not do, now he lay in life down for we, for the salvation of his soul today. So that means a, a leader is a giver. If they give you time, you rights, you privileges, you money, your resources for the betterment of other people. And so now that make uh, Philippians, Paul, Philippians, in Philippians chapter 2, from verse 5, I will read. Philippians 2, verse 5. What did he say? Let this mind be in you. We want to become successful in leadership like Christ, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God. Remember, remember say Jesus Christ and God also. Though it thought it not godly to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation. He not be special bag, special regalia, special chain, special clothes. And took upon him the form of a servant. God became flesh. What a brokenness and humility. And was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself. How humble are you? And became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Even the death of the cross. Then no wonder God highly exalted him and giving him a name which is above every name. So, leadership is a call to a place of humility, earnestness, labor, pain, loneliness, sacrifice for the betterment of others. May God make you today not a Gentile leader. May you avail, may we avail ourselves that we not go become a Gentile leaders, but we go become servant leaders like Christ. So Jesus they now come and point her now back to their disciples they are say, now there is a prize tag that is attached for Una, for be a leader. And waiting at that price tag day, number one, they say, they get for drink from the cup where in the drink of. And that cup they are waiting, I get for two lights on that later. In a deeper way. Then he said, the baptism where in don't baptize with. They get for be baptized. He addressed James and John. And only when they're ready for go, now that path day go make them for be great and it will make them for be successful. Remember within our topic today, not also the prize of leadership. So every leadership it get prize. But people can just look at the title, the regalia, personal enrichment, etc. But the prize is that you get for suffer, you get for carry the cross alone, you get for be right, walk na that lowly path. You get for be less honored. Who that they, who that they take fit here like leader? Now leader they go through all that. And I only through that cup. And I only through that baptism. Right? It will make you for be the choosing among the call. And I mean the Bible say, for many are called, but few are choosing. Because for let God choose you and enter Matthew 22, 14. For many are called, but few are choosing. For let God really choose you. You get for ready for pay the price. For drink from that cup. For be baptized with that baptism. Where Christ go through. And you walk now the narrow path. Then you go become a transformational leader. A leader will go bring a change. May God help you today. Not If you not be a gentle leader, repent today. Ask God, God, help me. For become a servant and a transformational leader. 
So wherever you are, bow your heads down. Lord, we'll go to God in prayer now. Lord, we'll begin for pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we love and appreciate you, Papa God, for who that you be to we. We give you all the glory, we give you all the praise, we give you all the honor, we give you all the adoration. Papa God, I just commit you, picking them, Lord. We commit to all lives that you have. We lay each and every one of we on that altar of sacrifice. Lord, have your way in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, would they pray today? You know we. Papa God, from them teachings, I would all now know who that really will be. If whether we are servant leaders or Gentile leaders. Lord, for we, we see the profess, the will they manifest the character of Gentile leadership. Lord, be merciful to us today in Jesus' name. We pray, O oh Lord, the grace we need. Father God, for let remain humble, broken. For let remain from his servant. Lord, grant unto us in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, we they pray today for the spirit of humility and brokenness. We they pray, Papa God, for compassion and love for we people. We they pray, Papa God, today that you will show mercy to we and help we for be servant leaders in Jesus' name. Make we for be men of integrity, men of uprightness, men, Papa God, we go seek and for do your will and make life for be better for you people in Jesus' name. Papa God, every negative character in our lives as leaders, O oh Lord, today, Lord, crush it from our lives in Jesus' name. Let your blood continue for speak on our behalf. Make us to be servant and Lord, servant leaders. Make us, Papa God, for be transformational leaders in this generation, in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that, Papa God, we will not go fail in this call we don't call we for serve with people in Jesus' name. We give you all the glory, the praise, and the honor. We love and appreciate you, Papa God. We thank you. We bless, worship, and adore you. We honor and glorify you. In Jesus' mighty and victorious name we are prayed. Amen. God bless you. See you next time. Have a beautiful time. Amen.